On my recent tutorial video for how to make a huge sci-fi spaceship, someone asked me to show how I organize my files because there was some uh, fixing of lost image paths and I did go through some of my folders and explain how they're organized really briefly, but uh, they asked me to show more in depth and I thought that might be a good uh, short, quick video, but also very helpful for uh, us artists out there who, you know, are not so great with the organization and, you know, housekeeping of our hard drives. So here is how I do it. So on my D drive, which is my second hard drive on my computer, I have all my different Blender installs here, the different versions. Now, I, you know, Blender has been getting a lot of updates lately, about one every few months at least, and it got really annoying moving my assets and Blender files and all those out of each install to the next one. So I realized I needed to make a global folder for all my Blender stuff that each install would access and use. So my Blender assets folder is where I have pretty much everything. Okay, here's what's inside my Blender assets folder. I've got 10 folders here. I'm going to take you through each one and explain to you what's in there and how it's organized. So the first one is the add-ons folder. Now this may be bad practice, but I got really annoyed by also moving my add-ons from every each new version to the next new version, just copying the folders in. Uh, it's probably not the best way to do that. I know you're supposed to do the install you know, the proper way and make sure you have the new version of the add-ons and all that stuff. But I made a kind of a global add-ons folder for all the stuff that I downloaded. Pretty much all of these are free and I use them a lot. So that's what Blender looks at is the add-ons folder. So no matter what version I have of Blender, they're always going to look at this uh, the same you know central global add-ons folder. Next is my Blender files, 27 gigabytes in here so far. And this is the folder where I put all my Blender projects. My projects currently are not so complex to where I need a folder for each project. I pretty much just have one blend file for each project and you know I organize a project into scenes and things like that. So I just have one blend file for each you know project for each thing I've made in Blender. Going back up, I've got my Kitbash folder which has all of my uh, awesome Kitbash 3D files that I purchased and acquired. Uh, they do free ones every now and then, so I always make sure to grab those. And there's some other really great ones that do cost some money, but they are high quality assets, and I love them. Not only do you get the amazing meshes and stuff that they've made, but you also get the texture files that they use. And these textures are really good. I think they're all seamless. They are, you know, they got the multi map thing going on with each layer for PBR, and there's a lot of them. So honestly, my Kitbash shoulder textures. It's one of my best assets I have for creating stuff in Blender. A lot of good content in here that um, often gets overlooked. All right, next is our materials folder, which honestly I got rid of. I, I used to have some files in here, but I had to move them all into my shaders uh, folder, which we'll get to in a minute. So I'm going to delete this materials folder. Just talking about house cleaning. All right, Maximo is a really cool thing that I think Adobe owns where you can download free um, body meshes that are animated or stationary, basically just rigged human figures with costumes and textures and everything. So I have only rarely used them. As you can see, I only have two here, but I used one for a recent Tron project. So I'm hoping to use more of those to add some extra elements to some of my scenes. Next is the Megascans folder. Now don't tell them, but I'm using Megascans inside of Blender, which is, apparently is against the rules. Um, but hey, Megascans is amazing. I don't see what the big deal is. I barely even use them anyway, but I've downloaded for free a bunch of assets through Quixel. And boy, do these things take up a lot of space. They're ginormous. So I don't have a whole lot on my actual computer hard drive, but the mega scans are incredible and really great for building scenes and environments and things like that. All right, next is my models folder. This is a little bit of an older one for me, but when I first got into downloading free, you know, stuff from online for Blender, I just started to organize them. I've got a whole Star Wars folder that's like half a gig of just Star Wars ships and droids and things like that. I've got an Akira bike, some angel wings, a few kit bash things which probably don't even belong in here. I need to move them to the appropriate folder. <laughs> I'm finding some old things I forgot about. Um, Sci-fi corridor, lightsaber parts that I made. Just kind of odds and ends really. It's a little bit of a mess in here, but I really haven't even accessed this folder in probably over a year. Uh, so that's kind of embarrassing, but at least they're all in one folder and not spread out all over the place. Going back up, I've got a shaders folder. This is a really cool one to have because there are so many just incredible free procedural shaders you can get offline um, that I figured I need to make a folder for them. So these are all blend files that contain procedural clouds, procedural lightning, procedural snow, you name it, all different metals, um, organic stuff, technological stuff. And you can import or amend these into your uh, Blender projects to really bring your, your textures to a new level and give it a lot of great stuff that you don't have to spend time making because you can get it offline for free. I also have at the top a PBR folder, which has all my PBR, um, you know, maps, image maps. See, let's go to my sci-fi folder, my favorite one. A whole bunch of different metal surfaces, uh, microchip, carbon fiber, panels, sci-fi solar panels, 
Um, inside my metal folder, I've got a bunch of you know, just flat metal surfaces like steel and things like that. Military, painted metal, probably some rusted stuff in there somewhere. So these are basically image maps that I get from cctextures.com or 3dtextures.me, I think it is. These are all organized into their own folder for each PBR shader. Uh, really good stuff to have. They do take up some room, especially if you get into the 8K resolution. So I try to keep it at 2K and 4K. But there are all of my image map textures right there. Okay, two more. My Sketchfab folder is probably my most recent addition to my system. That's because I just discovered Sketchfab just a few months ago, and I love it. There's a lot of free assets and models and 3D scans that are just incredible to download on there. So I've downloaded a whole bunch of them, and I've used these in some of my photography projects as well as my 3D scenes. So if you haven't yet, go check out Sketchfab, sign up for free, and just browse through the downloadable free content, and it is a lot of fun. Lots of cool stuff there. All right, lastly is my textures folder, which has three textures. These are ones that I've made from scratch uh, for specific Blender projects. I have another folder elsewhere, uh, I'll show you in just a second, that has like really all my textures. Um, so <laughs> this is kind of a new one. I'm not sure if I'm gonna stick with it or not, but uh, at least I know that these things are definitely used in Blender and made from Blender. So another folder that is not in my Blender assets folder is my graphics folder. I've had this one for years. And basically just anything that relates to graphic design, um, you know, my YouTube thumbnails, anything like that gets thrown in here. Due to bad housekeeping, there are also some PBR shader maps in, in here for some weird reason. But inside here, I have a pretty big textures folder. It's almost three gigs now. And in here, I have all kinds of different texture files from rock, you know, cloth, metal services, technological stuff. These are not necessarily image maps. They're just single images. Oh, well, okay. Well, right here, there's some image maps <laughs> for PBR. But most of these are just one-off images that you know I use um, in Blender or in Photoshop for backgrounds. I also have a stock photos folder with um, categories for different types of stock photo photos that I have that I've gotten for free from a, a variety of stock photo websites that I'll list in. And these come in handy for skies for my composites. Um, sometimes I'll even use them in Blender for certain textures. But these aren't really primarily for Blender. They're for my photography, editing, and photo shoot stuff. So that's why they're kind of separate from my Blender. But they do cross paths occasionally. I may use one or two of these as a background. Okay, and also I forgot to mention earlier, in my, Blender's in my Blender Files folder, uh, I do have my renders in here, which is not super organized because I have my Blend file and my render. Maybe I should just make a renders folder. Or I don't know how you guys do it. But for the time being, it's working okay for me. I know that my project is going to be named generally the same thing as my renders, and they're all side by side because they're you know, sorting them chronologically. And as for my video renders, I have a video folder on my D drive as well that contains a lot of stuff, you know, YouTube videos, um, screen captures, but also my Blender renders, and that's that could be better too. I could probably make a Blender video folder so that I know exactly where my animations go when I need them. But that basically sums up how I organize my Blender files into my assets folder. Um, hope that you guys learned something here. If you have any questions or if you have a better way of doing things, hey, I'm all ears. You know, let me know how you organize your stuff uh, down in the comments below. And if there's any way I can optimize my system and get a little bit cleaner, uh, let me know. But after making this video, I found a few folders that do not belong where I saw them. So I'm definitely going to be doing some more cleaning up and moving things around. I probably have some duplicates too, which is not cool. So yeah, let me know what you thought about this video in the comments. Hope you enjoyed it. And thanks for watching. Have a good week.